says, what percentage of the varsity cheerleading squad is comprised of juniors? Round to the nearest percent. So, of course, what question are they asking us? Well, the whole thing is a question. What percentage of the cheerleading squad is comprised of juniors? So, specifically, they want us to know what percent, and then basically the juniors is who we're focusing on. So, if we check against the title, it says varsity cheerleader breakdown. Okay, so that goes along with what we're talking about. And specifically, we're going to look at juniors. All right, and we're looking for a percentage. So think of when you start kind of relating how you do the questions, it starts to make more sense because then you'll know what you need, right? So when we did our previous questions, they gave us a percentage and then they gave us the total number of whatever we were dealing with. So same thing here in the circle graph. If we're trying to find a percentage, I need to know what is the percent based off. You always have to have a total. So if they give you a pie chart with whole numbers only and you're looking for a percentage of whatever, whichever section they're asking about, we always have to start with the total. Why is that? Because in order for us to get to a percentage, we have to create a fraction first, right? And if you think of a pie, which are pieces of a whole, that's the same thing as a fraction. Right, so first things first, we know a fraction always has to be what? Our total always has to be at the bottom. And then a piece of the total or whatever we're talking about is always at the top, right? In this particular case, the piece that they're asking for in the question is juniors, right? We don't have the total. We have the number of juniors, but we can calculate the total. So this is when you have to kind of start doing those small extra steps, which is common. So <clears throat> you definitely have to be aware of that. So we're going to say 13 plus 8 plus 2 plus 8. And that's going to give me the total number of cheerleaders, which is what? 31, I think so. 10, 23, yeah, 31. All right, so we have 31 total, right? And the total is super important because we can't calculate the percentage if we don't have the total. Right, so you got to kind of make a mental note. They give me whole numbers. I always will need, nine out of 10 times, I'm going to need the total. Specifically, if it's based off a of percentage, that's 100% of the time. All right, so if I know I'm dealing with 31 total, right, and the question is asking for juniors specifically, so we're going to have 13 juniors. All right, and then based on these values, we are going to convert this fraction to a percent. So this is where those sub skills come in. So you know how in the videos I always say you got to know certain sub skills to be able to complete a question. This is the perfect example of how you have to know how to convert from fractions to percentages. Because if people don't know how to do that, they don't know how to go from this answer to the final answer. Right. So we know anytime we convert from a fraction to a percentage, that's a two step process. We have to convert this to a decimal first and then we're going to convert our decimal to a percentage. So um, we divide our top value by our bottom value. So if we do 13 divided by 31. It's probably going to give us a long decimal. It does. Um, it's going to give us 0 0.4193. It's like a long decimal. But the good thing is the question specified to round to the nearest percent. So I'm only going to go, I'm going to say four decimal values out. So I'm going to say 0 0.4193. I'm going to stop there. All right. And then from here, we have to convert our decimal to a percentage. And two different ways you can do that. You can either multiply by 100 or you can move your decimal two places to the right. Um, it's up to you, whatever your preference is. All right, and that's going to give us 41.93%. All right, but we're not done because the question says round to the nearest percent. So another sub skill, you have to make sure you know how to round, right? Because that could be the difference between you getting the right answer and the wrong answer. Now, the good thing is because the test is multiple choice, let's just say, for example, your rounding is a little shaky. If we look at the answers that they gave us, I mean, obviously the closest answer is 42, right? But what if they have 42 and 41, 42 and 43? How would you know? Yeah, 
it's going to be like that. <laughs> yeah. So just in case it's like that, you got to make sure you have that skill of rounding. So anytime they say to the nearest percent, um, the translation for that is the same thing. It's kind of like the nearest whole number. Like I said, we were rounded to like the nearest one in whole numbers. That's the nearest percent, right? The basis in which we look at the values is different. But the way that we do the math and rounding is the same thing as rounded to the nearest one. So what's in the ones place? That's going to be the one in this case. So we assess the value to the right of it, which is a nine. So remember, if the value is five or greater, that means that whatever we're assessing or whatever is underlined has to increase by one. If it was four or less, then that one would stay the same. So because that's a nine, one is going to increase to two. And then, of course, we drop everything behind it. Well, some people change it to zeros, but it's the same thing. All right, 42%. So if we look at the question again from the top, and the more you do these, you'll learn that it, it's only so many ways they can present it to you. And then once you kind of get comfortable with saying, hey, if I see it this way, this is what I do, you'll start to do the, you won't even think twice about doing it. That's how easy it'll come to you. It says, what percentage of the varsity cheerleading squad is compromised of juniors? Round to the nearest percent. So what are they asking me? They want me to figure out a percentage. I do know that specifically. And then we're looking at juniors, right? So if we look at our chart, what's the problem? The problem is that the values have been given in whole number form. That's a red flag because they want my answer in a different form. So that lets me know some type of conversion, something has to be changed out. All right, and then nine out of 10 times, if you're giving whole numbers and you're converting to a percent, it's some type of fraction has to be created in that process. That's 99% that's of the time, that's how it goes. All right, so in order for us to figure that out, if they give us a pie, we always need to figure out the what? The total. Always, always, always. Especially if it's based off percentage, that's always going to be the goal. What's the total value of what I'm dealing with? Right, because I know that each piece of it is a piece of, just like our last question, of the whole pot. So we added all of our values together. That let me know in total I'm dealing with 31 cheerleaders, right? And then based on this 31 cheerleaders, the question wants me to focus on which part? The juniors, right? And we said that there were 13 juniors. So you create your fraction. The piece is always on top of the total. So we said the piece was the juniors, because that's what they're asking about. And then we calculate the total of 31, right? So the problem is that our answer is in fraction form and they want us to calculate a percentage. So this is where your sub skill comes in of converting from a fraction to a percentage, which is a two-step process. So we converted from this fraction to this decimal first. And we did that by dividing 13 by 31. Now, when you put this in your calculator, it's gonna give you a really long answer. The reason why I cut it off is because they've already specified that this needs to be rounded. So I just stopped there at those particular values. All right, and then from here, we convert it to a percent. So you can either move the decimal two places to the right or multiply by 100, whichever works for you. Once we got here, we still have one extra sub skill. We had to round to the nearest percent. All right, so of course, anytime they say nearest percent, it's the same thing as rounding to the nearest one look at it like that. So I know that this one was in that place value. We assess the value to the right of it because that was a nine, one increase to two. And that was our final answer. Right. Not too bad. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not bad. I, I know you keep saying, she keeps saying it's really not that bad, but it's not, I promise. No, looking at it now is, <laughs> it's a little easier. <laughs> yeah. Since you, you know, was able to break it down to me, I I understand that a lot better now. All right. Let's look at question number 24. Right, it's your turn to walk me through. All right. Number 24. Mm -hmm. Based on the graph below, what percentage of men surveyed chose red as their favorite car color? Mm -hmm. It says round to the nearest percent. Mm -hmm. Well, I would first start with um, the question. Well, the whole thing is a question. I guess I would start right here with the, where the what. Yeah. Yeah. And um, <laughs> of men chose red as their favorite color. 
Okay. And so next I would um, look at the title. And it says men's favorite car color. Uh -huh. And then as I'm looking at it, I can see that they all have whole numbers and not uh -huh. percentages. And um, I go down to the red piece of the pie and it says 67. And um, they want percentage. So I would, I guess, un, you know, make sure I see that it's a percentage that they want overall and not just a whole, a whole number. And so um, I would first begin with finding the total of um, the whole circle graph. And then I would add the red, black, and white and yellow all together. Okay, and what did you get? And the to total is 250. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. And um, after that, I would um, make my fraction. And um, the total goes on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And the piece would go on top. And the piece would be um, 67. Okay. What's next? And um, then I would divide. Okay. What do you? 67. And it would give me 0 0.20, I mean, 0 0.268. So it's round to the nearest percent. And I would um, move the decimal over. Uh -huh to two places, uh -huh. and that would give me 26.8. Uh -huh. And they said to the nearest percentage. Uh -huh. And so I would, since there's an eight and it's larger than five, uh -huh. that would cause the six to turn into a seven. Yes, ma'am. That's it. And now look at that. That. <laughs> that wasn't even that bad. No, not at all. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can find another one for you to do by yourself. I don't know if there's another one for you. Nope. Let's go to the Let's see. Not that one. No? Oh, maybe there's one in the one, two, three. How are you doing with the other subject area? Um, I think I'm on the Oh yeah, um I was having a little trouble with the um the form the formulation the geometry quantities, but after I went over it and look, you know, after I went through it and actually just, you know, actually didn't give up on it. <laughs> Did you look, are you looking at the video tutorials that come with it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But still, you know, like, it's like a mind thing. Once you look at it, it's like, oh, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, you definitely can't look at it like that. Yeah, I was like, oh, I, I don't know how to do it. So, but I was like, nope, I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to, you know, because I don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, you got to get you got to get it done. Got it done. Yeah. All right, so try number 21 and let me know what you come up with. All righty. Thank you. 
Okay, number 21, um, I got D. So you got which one? D, 54%. Yes. Okay, so do you see how it said like hip hop and R&B? Did yep. that off at all? Yep. See, see, see? But you see how they can slightly change the variation, the foundation of how you learned it, but you still understood what to do. So that's why I always tell people the foundation is what's important. If you know the basis of how to do something, it doesn't matter how they ask you the question, you still gonna learn. See, not so bad.